Welcome to The Dark Art of Light by Nolte, a virtual masterclass series covering the fundamental principles of residential lighting design. Through this series, we'll explore the art of illuminating different rooms within a home. Each tutorial will break down the creative process, revealing the layers and hierarchy of lighting that are intrinsic to a beautiful scheme. Today we turn our attention to the garden. This outdoor area is an extension of the interior, and lighting to the space must be cosy and intimate. Lower light levels in the garden may contrast a key tool for orientation. Security must be taken into consideration with egress routes lit adequately and security lighting installed correctly. Keeping this in mind, the four layers of garden lighting are as follows. Accent, lighting that highlights key focal views from the property. Ambient, lighting that blends with nature to create a sense of comfort. Feature, lighting that gives the space personality and identity. This may be lighting to a sculpture, a water feature or a particular plant that you like. Orientation, lighting that improves perception by defining routes and establishing focal points for occupants. Let's break this down even further. Accent lighting refers to lighting that guides the eye and creates points of interest around the garden, enhancing both soft and hard landscape alike. Taller flora such as trees can be lit using uplights that are recessed into hard landscape or spike mounted for soft landscape. Add a bit of sparkle to shorter shrubs and decorative plants for a less formal feel. Do make sure to clear the uplights of fallen debris or overgrown shrubs to target tree limbs correctly. Make sure to avoid light trespass by using fixtures with good glare control. Wall lights can help enhance textures and define thresholds. Do resist the temptation to overlight or floodlight, however, as whilst these can provide a sense of security, they are uncomfortable to look at and may cause significant light pollution. Now we move on to ambient lighting that improves the sense of warmth and depth in the garden. Ambient lighting boosts comfortable levels of illumination whilst avoiding glare or harsh and visible direct light sources. It adds vertical or perceived illumination that can make the garden appear bigger, yet cosy. Floor-mounted lanterns are an excellent way to create pockets of soft light within outdoor seating. Battery-operated lanterns can provide the occupant with greater control over positioning and omit some of the electrical concerns that come with hard-wired or plug-in outdoor fixtures. Table lamps and candles can add a feeling of intimacy to the garden and may be used in conjunction with aesthetically similar floor-mounted lanterns. Concealed uplights to the structure of a gazebo or pergola can subtly highlight the underside of canopies and sunshades. Additional ambient lighting to covered seating can be provided via the use of a pendant or a cluster thereof. Feature lighting gives us the opportunity to make a statement and give the space a personality. This lighting can refer to the fitting itself, which makes a statement whether on or off, or an interesting light effect. Fairy lights, festoon lighting, or adding sparkle to a waterfall are all examples of feature lighting that can add an extra dimension, but is not absolutely essential. Fairy lights or festoon lighting is a personable way of adding a twinkling effect to the canopy of a covered area, hearkening to the look of a starry night sky. Lighting to a water feature can emphasise the movement of the water and add sparkle to bubbles or falls. Cooler colour temperatures of light may be used here for contrast and emphasis. Turning our attention to orientation lighting, this unique layer of light for the outdoor space is important as it helps to define the space once natural light has begun to fade. In smaller residential lighting, the combined effect of considered accent, ambient and feature lighting can negate the need to have this as a separate layer, saving money and energy. However, in larger gardens or shared communal areas, it may be necessary. Photo cells and astronomical time clocks can be used to switch lighting on and off following curfew. 
Highlighting step changes either with concealed linear lighting or with dedicated step markers is key. This will improve the garden's safety, functionality and aesthetics alike. Underbench lighting performs a similar function, orientating users to seating areas. Lastly, in-ground recessed marker lights can help identify potential trip hazards and define pathways. These can be slightly raised to cast light across a path, revealing its texture and the extent of the floor finish. Thank you for listening to this instalment in our Dark Art of Light series. We hope you have found it both insightful and useful. If you are interested in other tutorials in this series, please go to our Nulti YouTube page or visit our website to find out more.